In downtown Las Vegas, celebrating two years, the all-new menu features a seasonal selection of refreshing flavors. And it's all, of course, for the warm weather. And chef and owner Corey Harwell is in the studio with us to show Hello. us some of those items. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Great. Things are going well over there at Carson Kitchen, Things huh? are going great. I mean, we're so fortunate to have been embraced like we have been downtown community. Uh, love it downtown. Vegas as a whole has really... Um, come out in full force to support the restaurant and two years strong we're busier now than we were two years ago yeah because there's always that downtown like mm -hmm. should i go downtown even todd like you know not being new new you've no, been here I'm since january learn, i'm trying to learn but i know there are great things there and yeah and this yeah. certainly looks fantastic well you know we just rolled out our summer menu just mm -hmm. a couple weeks ago so you know we, we change menus four times a year right. so we are very seasonal in our approach to the food and as most people know we try to either introduce you to something that you're already familiar with in a modern twist or bring in a whole new item that maybe you're a little afraid to try, but if we put it in a familiar vehicle, right. you're much more likely to try it. So for example, Ooh, right. right here, we've got our devil's eggs. Okay. Yes. This is a mainstay. This has been around since day one. These are uh, not your traditional deviled egg. There's no. a little bit of sour cream in the mix instead of just your traditional mayonnaise and, and mustard. Right. And we top it with pancetta and caviar and chervil, oh, which is like a French parsley. So people leave and go, I had, I had caviar last night, oh, or yeah. I had foie gras, or yeah. any of the number of different things that they can Try. Right. I like. What is this? This is very interesting. A watermelon salad here. Is that uh, what kind of is that? What kind of cheese is that? It's a little feta cheese feta on top. Cheese. This okay. is new to the summer menu. This is our spiced watermelon salad. A little bit of cucumber, a little pickled red onion, and then of course we top the watermelon with a tahine, mm. which is that uh, Mexican uh, chili, lime, salt, and it really is just a wonderful, bright, vibrant, bold flavor of summer. Mm, sweet and a little salty. Little yeah. sweet, little salty, little <laughs> spicy. It's the best of everything. Yeah, right? it is. It's one of those things. Where you see is like watermelon salad. Do I want that? And then you go, oh man. Well, yeah, of course, all the, the salt flavors. of the feta and the it's sweetness great. of the watermelon just yeah, really wears nice well mix. together. Now, I've had your tater tots before. Those are delicious. There is. So <laughs> we, we actually created what we call Killer Spice Blend. Mm -hmm. It's our version of a, a, a multi spice and all mm -hmm. spice. And of course, we spice the tots with that. And this. Right here is featured our crispy chicken sandwich. This is our Sunday chicken. Okay. We call it Secret Sunday Chicken because I grew up loving fried chicken. I used right. to eat it all the time. My, my grandmother, mm. my mom made it, and this is our Secret Sunday recipe of that. And down there, you got is a strawberry pie. What is that? Strawberry pie, man. There doesn't get anything better than Harry's berries. Uh -huh. And uh, so this is our strawberry pie, a little creme anglaise to help set right there in the pie. And we top it with a liquor 43 whipped cream, uh, which is a uh, it's a spiced uh, liquor, mm -hmm. uh, 43 different ingredients, and it really wears well in the cream on top of the sweetness of the strawberry. All right, we got a minute left, so I want to get through everything. So this is what's on here. It's pepperoni, obviously, right? No, I no? Did, no. This is yeah. our version of a Hawaiian flatbread. Yeah. Okay. So again, in the mode of trying to take something you're already familiar with and give it a twist. Uh, my fiance and my daughter both absolutely love Hawaiian pizzas. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we wanted to do a version of that. So instead of taking regular pineapple and regular ham, we take a tasso ham, which is a spicy Cajun ham out of New Orleans. And then we rum spice the pineapple uh, and make it a little bit more adult version, fitting for <laughs> downtown and fitting for Carson Kitchen. Going with the sweet and salty kind of uh, combination again. I love it. It, it really is, too. Yeah, the best right. flavor combinations yeah. there are. It Add a little good. spice, a little heat in there, and we're yeah. perfect. And then you have some nice... Uh, Beverages here to wash yeah. it down. So I brought a couple <laughs> cans of beer down. We, we're yeah, proud to feature yeah, local, some yeah. local breweries. We have the Bad Beat Brewery right out of Henderson, okay. and of course Big Dogs. And you know, Kurt and his guys at Big Dogs have been around forever, and we're just real proud to be able to carry one of their products on the summer menu. And what's this deal right here? Swear jar. So the swear <laughs> jar. You know, we're real proud of the, our approach to bold flavors mm -hmm. at the kitchen, and and we like to think that when somebody takes a bite of food that. They're, they're liable to say oh, yeah. something they're not yeah. so proud of. Uh, we need one and, of these And for the we give you an outlet, too, so you're yeah. excused <laughs> if you say, oh, man, that's good. But another word, you drop a, a dollar in there, and you're good to go. Nice. Well, I, I that, like it. That good that policy. Works. All right, you can go to the downtown location. And real quick, you got to wrap yep. up. You're opening one in Henderson. We are. Well, we're opening a new concept, Standard & Poor, opening. Okay. And uh, I won't give away the date, but let's soon. just say it's soon. Very, soon. very soon. All right, thanks so much. Thank you. Stay with us.